Hello guys, welcome to Python and Machine Learning Daily. Today we will perform a Python task which would be really relevant for machine learning projects. Imagine the scenario that you have a few sources of data like CSV files, but for different years in a bit different format. For example, you've made a survey of salaries each year and in different years you have a bit different naming of the columns or some column was present or not. And your goal is to combine that into one CSV multi-year CSV for then later processing the data and building the machine learning model. So in this example, I've created some fake data CSVs, small ones just to demonstrate the idea. So 10 rows of 2021 salaries with years city and salary, years of experience, then 2022 was without city anymore. And then in 2023, you decided to rename the column to years of experience. So we will write a Python script here to combine that into one salaries full CSV. I already have done it behind the scenes, but I will repeat it for you in this video step by step. And as it becomes usual on this channel, it won't be strictly live coding. It will be pasting off code step by step explaining the parts. The first part is the loop for reading the CSVs. We import the CSV library for Python and then since we have the convenient format of file names, maybe you won't have that case and you would need to do a different for loop. But in our case, we can use range from 2021 to this minus one. So these three files and then we have year as a variable and then we can construct the file name for each of the file. For this, I'm using f strings of Python and we open the file name and read its contents. And we read with dict reader, dictionary reader, not just a simple reader. And I will show you why in a minute. The next step I've added. So for each row in that reader, we append that row, some parts of that row to new data. So new data by default is an empty list. And then we append each row to that list, but append with these conditions. So we append a year as a column because in that combined CSV file, we do need to know which year it is from. And then we add the salary as the third column. And then the second column depends. If that CSV contains years, then we have years. Otherwise we have years of experience. And that's why for that we need to use dictionary reader to access these columns. Otherwise, if we just use reader, it will throw an error of these could not be strings. So yeah, by the end of this, we have new CSV data as a list. And the final thing we need to do is write that CSV with combined data. And this is the code. We open a new CSV file for writing this time using the same CSV imported above. And then we have writer. First, we write one row of header, survey year, years of experience and salary. And then we write all the rows from our new CSV data. If we launch that current file, we launch it, finished with exit code. And the result is salaries full with 30 lines of data. Well, 31, including header. We have one header and 30 rows of data. And I will demonstrate you what would happen if we use reader here. As I mentioned, we would get an error if we launch that again. List indices must be integers or slices. So we would not be able to use row years with simple CSV reader. That's why it's a dictionary reader. So yeah, this is one way to combine different CSV files into a merged CSV file for further data processing. If you have any questions, shoot in the comments below. And if you have any ideas for further videos in the future, also use the comments section. Subscribe to the channel to get daily videos with tips about Python and machine learning. And see you guys in other videos.